guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button so we can get to know each other better. Today I am so excited because I'm cooking dinner for the first time in a while. We just got through Christmas and we've just been eating like pretty bad. <laughs> We've been eating all the Christmas treats, all the Christmas cookies, all the Christmas goodies, all, all things Christmas and not good for you. And of course it is 100% okay to treat yourself over the holidays. I think we all do it. But today we're kind of starting to get back on track. And with that, I'm gonna be making a brand new recipe. And it's actually, I can't even say that I'm using a recipe because I kind of just dreamt it up in my head. But my husband, Derek, is actually doing keto. He's been doing keto for the last two months. Um, he did actually finally break his keto diet during Christmas. He didn't go crazy, but he definitely treated himself. And I'm so happy because he was hardcore doing keto, like super hardcore. And I selfishly was like, can you please break your keto diet so we can just have some good Christmas treats? Um, but... Today, I'm actually gonna be making a dinner that is keto friendly, so we're getting back on track. I personally, I'm not doing keto, but I generally just try to eat healthier. I wouldn't say I'm the most healthy person, but I do strive for balance. You know, I like to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Generally, I try to eat pretty healthy for breakfast and lunch, and then at dinner, that's when I kind of will splurge a little bit, nothing crazy, but you know what I mean. So. I do try to eat low carb also, but I don't do like the craziness. I shouldn't say that because there might be people who are watching this video. You're probably keto, but more power to you. I cannot cut out fruits and vegetables that are high in carbs. Like I just enjoy my like apples and bananas and grapes, carrots. You people think carrots are like bad for you. I, I really should tone it down. But anyways, today we're making a keto recipe and it's something I've dreamt up in my head. It's inspired by the Salsa Verde Cal or not California, the Salsa Verde cauliflower casserole recipe that I found years ago and I've been making pretty consistently and I will link that recipe below. But I was thinking how fun would it be to kind of make a buffalo chicken style cauliflower casserole? And I love buffalo chicken dip, so I thought this would be super, super good. So today's video is gonna be me making that, and it's really just gonna be a giant experiment because I've never made it before, so we're all gonna see it come together, together, and then I'll let you know if it's good or not. And then if it is, you guys can make it at home. So with that, let's get started on the first step. All right, to make this easiest on myself, I'm actually gonna throw the chicken in the crock pot this morning with some buffalo sauce. And I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's. This is just my favorite type of buffalo sauce. It's nice and creamy, it has a really good texture, and it is low carb. So there's only one gram of carbs in a serving. So this is the really the most important ingredient to this casserole. And then I've got two chicken breasts behind me. So we're just gonna throw everything into the crock pot and then later today, we'll assemble the casserole, super easy. So I have my chicken breasts in the crock pot. They're pretty large. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour my buffalo sauce right over top of them. I'm gonna do probably about, that's probably about a cup. I just want them to be completely coated. And then I'm gonna set my crock pot to low. I'm gonna do eight hours. And then when we take this out, we're gonna shred it. Welcome back, it is dinner time. I'm about to assemble this casserole. You're gonna wanna get out your nine by 13 casserole dish and go ahead and spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Um, and I preheat my oven to 350. Here are all the ingredients I have prepped over here. So you're gonna need eight ounces of cream cheese, which is an entire block. I also would, this is an, I would say is an optional um, ingredient, blue cheese crumbles, because not a lot of people aren't blue cheese people. I'm a blue cheese person, so I'm gonna add this to our casserole. Half a cup of sour cream, about a cup and a half of cheddar cheese, 
And then I'm going to mix some of this in with a casserole and then I'm going to top some on top of the casserole as it bakes. And then I have my chicken that I've shredded. It's already to go. And I've just microwaved the cauliflower. Okay, so I've added to the crock pot the cream cheese, the sour cream, the blue cheese. The blue cheese I'm just adding to taste and my container of blue cheese is actually expiring soon. So I'm literally just going to use the rest of it up and hopefully it's not too blue cheesy. I'm also going to add probably about a cup of the cheddar to the mixture. It's almost as if you're making buffalo chicken dip. So that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all up. And then once everything is combined, you're gonna add in the cauliflower. I like to mix everything right in the crock pot cause it's already warm. So it's gonna help all those cheeses to melt in with the chicken and hot sauce. All right, so everything's combined and oh my goodness, I just tried that with a tortilla chip and that mixture is so good. It definitely tastes 100% like buffalo chicken dip, which makes sense because that's pretty much what all the ingredients are to buffalo chicken dip. Um, lastly, we're gonna go ahead and add the cauliflower and I just steamed it in my microwave steamer. And the easiest way to do this only, honestly for measurements is to just get two of the the regular size cauliflower steam fresh bags that you microwave. That's honestly the perfect portion of cauliflower. I'm kind of eyeballing it honestly because, oh wait, there's still some water in here. It's okay, it'll cook out. And then I'm going to mix this together and get everything combined. If I feel like it needs more cauliflower, I'm just gonna microwave a little more and then add that to the crock pot. So I'm gonna mix this all together and then it's gonna get dumped right into the casserole dish and then I'm gonna top it with cheese. Well, my Christmas Mickey oven mitt got a little messy in the transfer. <laughs> oh man. Um, well, I guess at least Christmas is over and I needed to wash these anyways and put them away. So I guess I'll do that tonight. But casserole is transferred to the casserole dish. So gonna spread this out, top it with cheese. I did add some salt and pepper to the mixture, just add to taste. And then we're gonna pop this bad boy in the oven. I decided at the last minute to drizzle a little bit of hot sauce on top. Just use the buffalo sauce I used earlier. This is all prepped and ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna bake this for 30 minutes uncovered and it's actually perfect because that will give me just enough time to do my workout and then we're gonna dig in. I am so excited. I mean, there are no words. <laughs> This smells incredible and looks like perfection. I'm gonna get this plated up and then we'll do a taste test. There you go. So what do I do? We're doing a taste test. So how does this work? You take a bite and you let me know how it is. Do I give you an honest review? Yes. How many stars out of five? Five. Five? Are you just being nice or do you think it's actually like five star worthy? I'm eating. Ooh. Dang. That's pretty good. All right, well, Derek went back for a second helping, so I would say it was a hit. It is so yummy, it's so creamy, so buffalo-y. It's like my favorite flavors of all time. I think it's a really good keto option and it's really good for a quick weeknight meal since you're putting everything into the crock pot and mixing it in that and then transferring it to the casserole dish. And then you can pretty much pop it in the oven and go about your day and do other stuff while it's cooking. And I think it will be really good reheated as well. Thank you guys for joining me for this little experiment. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed, cooking alongside of me today. Go check out my YouTube channel. I have one other cooking video on there and I'm planning to do more in the new year. And you can also check out my food blog, stresslesscookmore.com. I'm gonna put this recipe on there as well and you can check out some of my other recipes. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.